We had a tree come down. Obviously. But more importantly, it's already 9.15 in the morning and I'm checking the mailbox for a delivery. That's yesterday's mail. What's going on EDC people and what's our journey today? Well, I'm waiting for some mail to come, but I wanted to share a case knife I got recently. Um, I've never had a case knife before. A case is a traditional pocket knife, uh, you know, US, everyone knows case, USA made. Um, well, here it is. I'll just jump right to it. It's the John Wayne edition. Uh, you know, John Wayne is in the Duke. Um, it's in a gunstock pattern. As you can see. Now, it does not have half stops. Which kind of surprised me. Uh, but it didn't claim to have half stops in the description either. I think I was just so excited by the pattern in the JW, the John Wayne, that I jumped right on it. I have some guys here helping me take down a tree and I wanted to do a quick video so if you hear noise in the background that's what that is. But this is this piece and look how beautiful that stag bone is. I believe it's 6.5 inches overall. Two blades, it's a jackknife, comes out of both sides. Look at that beautiful, it's actually, you know, I, I've, I've heard all about cases finish issues. But I have to tell you, this one came pretty damn good. I mean, there's two, two different slabs of stag, are obviously two different sizes, but looking at the fit and finish closely. You can see that there's absolutely no gaps on it, which is surprising. And as far as blade centering is concerned, smack down the middle. So, all right, guys, we're waiting for the mail. And uh, to be continued, I just wanted to share this piece with you. Never mind. Apex pass around group from the Royal Mail in Northern Ireland. 
Alright guys, this is kind of a weird angle, but we're going to use it for now. Uh, seeing as how that tree fell on the, my uh, quote-unquote outdoor studio. The first thing I got is from the Apex Passeron group. Uh, I'm waiting for an item that's still coming from um, FedEx. That's the main point of this video, but today I happened in the US mail to get something from the Apex Passeron group courtesy of Best Tech Knives. It is the Spanish tip razor. Um, I have not looked at this yet. This is my first sight of the item. Um, I'm not sure if... Uh, I, I have instructions from the Passeron group that the item is supposed to be sent back, I believe. So I'm not sure that there's going to be much of a following video to it. So I just wanted to, while I had a chance, give you a shot to take a look at it. It's supposedly M390, and I say supposedly only because I don't, I mean, well, I guess I shouldn't say supposedly. It, it literally says M390, right? I'm trying to get the uh, shine off of it. I think you can see it there in the corner. Uh, let's see here. Maker's mark looks like J and a C and a cross, which is an interesting maker's mark. Um, Best Tech Knives. This is referred to as the Spanish Dip Razor. And uh, I will say it's stylish. I really do like the gold carbon fiber. I like the handle. Um, I'm not sure about the knife portion of it yet. Um, I don't know how much time I'll have with it, to be honest with you. Uh, as I said, it looks like it's an item that's uh, got to go back to the manufacturer. But if I have some time with it, hopefully... Uh, uh, I will soon. We can take a good look at it and uh, go from there. So that's the first item that came in today. My focus is all messed up, so I'm gonna start and start or end this and start a new clip. Okay. Um, best tech Spanish dip razor. Oof. Sorry, I'm in a very strange spot. It's in a, It's got. Look at two finger grooves there, so you can be back here, or you can creep up. It looks like, and use all three. Look how much room you have, wow. I don't know, I'm really, uh, I'm kind of curious about this knife, actually. I, I'm, I'm hoping that I don't have to send it back right away. It's kind of got a liner lock, uh, bolster lock, if you will. Relief is interior. Wait, if you can see that, I'm not sure. Right about there. The other item I got, I believe I know what this is. Um, hopefully not showing off anyone else's information besides my own, but I really think this is cool. I wanted to show you. Uh, my daughter's just getting home from school, so let me pause this. Okay. Um, I believe this is from over across the shuck, if you will. Uh, my friend Patty. And I'm going to use my case john wayne gunstock pattern to open it i believe uh patty from patty's potato peelers sent over something uh per more of a personal request uh but very very kind and awesome of him let's see what we have here Oh, I was hoping he would throw in some channel swag and goodies. Look at that marking. That's so cool. Across the shuck, the uh, Great Britain Internationally Tracked uh, Royal Mail. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, so let's see here. First off, we've got some Patty swag. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Got some stickers, which I have not had. So I'm excited about that. Patty's Potato Peelers card. Very cool. Directly from Northern Ireland. And then, here's what he really sent me, the big, the big deal. Nambari. Nice and strong. Northern Ireland. It's tea. And isn't that awesome that is so nice of you thank you patty so so very much i'm going to try this i'm gonna tell you all how it is and uh he's always saying he's got the best best tea in the world right well i'm gonna try it out and i'm gonna let you know oh 
Oh, I can smell it. It smells just great. Oh my gosh, I love tea. This is going to be great. Well, Patty, thank you so, so much for that. I appreciate it. And I can't wait for the FedEx to come to show you the rest of today's unboxing. Anyways, guys, I opened the tea from Patty over at Patty's Potato Peelers. Please, if you're not subscribed to him, go check his channel out. Obviously, if you haven't heard of him, I'm, I'm sure you have if you follow me. But inside of the pouch of tea, he stashed this little guy away. It looks like it's a little carbon fiber uh, doohickey with just some Aussage teal, but still very cool. Very cool to be uh, from Patty over in Ireland. Uh, you can see where I say it's carbon fiber. It's got a little bead on it. Very cool. It's got a lip on it so you can't touch the blade and you just push it open and it clicks. And then uh, it snaps in place and then you push it closed. Cool knife for utility use. I mean, really great knife for utility use. Uh, and great for the car. I'm just getting my cup of tea, as Patty says it ready here. This is the kind, this is what he stuffed in between the tea bags here. As you can see, uh, new knife day is obviously always exciting. I was waiting for FedEx for this. And people such as uh, Jersey Pete over Jersey Knife Guy, you knew I wasn't gonna wait. I pulled the, pulled the, I bit the bullet. Uh, you could pause and read this if you'd like. Uh, this is the GEC made Remington um, baby bullet knife. Um, as you may or may not know, it was made in partnership with Smoky Mountain Knife Works and it was made by GEC. Hence, it has a lot of interest by a lot of people. Don't eat these comes in this wax just like a, a traditional real traditional knife would a real nice traditional knife and look at this first off please subscribe to my channel I'm doing a giveaway at 500 so don't wait hit subscribe take a look at this beauty this baby bullet look at the fit and finish on it let me wipe it down good It's made of 1095 carbon and again it's made of it's jigged bone it's made by GEC for Remington and it's got a beautiful bullet shield on it the fit and finish just seems absolutely immaculate the centering is absolutely dead on um, the case knife came close but this is not uh, this this is not the same thing uh, made in USA look at that big steel 1095 drop point knife uh, nice it's even got some swedging on the top it's really quite quite a beautiful piece uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this other blade also this big old skinning blade butter blade whatever you want to call it look at that sucker it's printed 2021 R7352, that must be the model. What's it say here? Remington UMC, made in USA. Same thing. Okay, so it doesn't say the words GEC on it, and that may have some uh, relation in, into what the price ultimately turns out to be, but this is still a GEC made product. And is, and is my first GEC made product I should add and wow it comes 
nice and sharp out of the box. Um, let's get these blades wiped down. I'm going to have to go ahead and oil them for uh, 1095. Good thing I have some EDCI. I don't have it out here with me to show you how I do it, but it's not that hard. You just rub it in and wipe it off, basically. But look at the nickel silver bolster. Nickel silver bolster. Beautiful pull. Beautiful backstop. Let me see. While it's in the half. Oh, gosh. Look at that. And I love, love, love that it's flat on top. It doesn't it have an opening. Wow, is this a nice piece. Well, guys, what do you think? I don't have much to say yet. I don't know much about it beyond what I got for documentation, what I've seen on other people's videos, and what I'm about to experience myself. But this is what I really wanted to show you guys today. This is a piece of history, as far as I'm concerned, and that's why I jumped on it. This could, may or may not be the last Remington bullet knife we see. It may or may not be, but it was made by GEC, and that in and of itself, whether it's the first or last, uh, makes it a historical knife. And it is absolutely beautiful. Let me know what you guys think down below. I can't wait to do more with this, and you're absolutely going to see this in future videos. Right now, I'm kind of just uh, awestruck, and we'll be back with you uh, with more videos on it soon to come. That bullet shield is just beautiful. It really is. Let me get rid of this, and I'll let you take a nice detailed look. It's got brass, I believe brass cartridge liners. Jigged, beautiful jig to bone. Brass pins with nickel silver. I, I just opened the box, so I haven't cleaned out, you know, from the, I haven't flushed it out from the factory or put any of my oil on it or anything like that. And I will. But take a look at the, when, even when I have the secondary blade in the half stop position, both, both back springs, both back, uh, springs are completely flush. I'm trying really close to this rock, so I'm trying to hold it uh, in a kind of awkward position here. But wow, that's absolutely beautiful craftsmanship. And uh, it's USA made. You, who doesn't love that big bullet on there? And it's completely seamless. I mean, the transitions are, are beautiful. It's so comfortable. Listen to that. It's such a, I mean, wow, talk about a work knife. I mean, can you guys even see this when I'm holding, not not when I'm zoomed in like that, huh? What a beautiful work knife. Anyways, that's the, uh, the prospector, the bullet, the baby bullet, the Remington baby bullet, I guess they're calling it the prospector. Okay, so more to come on this, but this was the excitement. Hope you have a great day. Also want to take a minute to thank Patty over at Patty's Potato Peelers. Uh, you probably saw earlier in the video, he sent over from across the shuck uh, that cool knife. Um, I don't have it handy outside here to, to, to show you again, but I will definitely have a video with that in it more. Uh, but he sent over that amazing tea and I tried it and I'm here to tell you. You can't go wrong with Irish tea. Have a great day.